Welcome back everybody. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Beautiful day. Summer's around the corner. We're wondering about my hat. Well, you know, with this pandemic going on, I haven't had a professional haircut, so hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, here we go, another palette. I'm gonna try and keep this one shorter. I have another palette coming tomorrow, so I might be uh, making a three-part series here, and that way I'm not boring the heck out of you for uh, 35, 45 minutes. So, let's get going. You know what we always say about these tape jobs? Don't hold much faith when it's got products taped like this. If you're new to my channel, let you know I'm a liquidator, palette flipper, whatever you want to call it. I buy nothing but uh, non-manufested uh, palettes, so I have no idea what I'm going to get. So it's a surprise to me as it's a surprise to you. Wow, okay. We have handheld vacuum. It is definitely used. Uh, is that broken? Is that why there's tape on here? Uh, not quite sure. Let's just say no matter what, even if it works, uh, I'm not going to be getting anything for this. It's going to be probably a, a, a wash. Pet hair removal doesn't say much, just says vacuum cleaner. Uh, you know what? Best I can do, plug it in, see if it works, clean it up, and put it at the end of the, the garage, try and get five or ten dollars for it. Other than that, you know what? It's not, not much there. Volt works. We have a power inverter. Okay, so this is this is how you like to see everything. This seems to be in brand new condition. I'll give you guys a little peek. Just this here. Okay. Oh, it's all nicely wrapped. You have a voltage meter. All the okay, so here we go. This is nice. There we go. So you have a 2000 watt DC to AC power adapter. Uh, I do have a, a DC. Actually, I have one, but it's not to AC. It only goes to DC. And it's been a little tougher sell because it's more or less for a trucker. Put it in their truck. This one here is great because you could use this anywhere, and then you can run normal stuff from it being in, uh, being converted to AC. That there, without even looking at it, 2,000 watt, I'm going to say it's probably going to be close to the $400 range. So, you know what, that's a, that's a good find there every day of the week. Smart body composition Wi-Fi scale. Okay. See if it's, it's there. Directions. Blah blah blah. So far, so good. Let's see how we open this. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that's nice. There we go. Give you a peek at that. Nice. So, trying to look at it. You know what, it's, I mean, somebody's wiped it. I don't know if it's been used. We'll see if there's any batteries in it. Nothing's coming on. So, one way or another, this is a good find. Um, I can't see it not working. Uh, I'm more than likely probably gonna keep something like this. I gotta lose a bit of weight, so. Uh, it does a lot of features, Wi-Fi. It actually tells you how much muscle you have. I don't know if all this is true or not, but who knows. Body weight, how much water you're actually retaining. So these go anywhere from around, um, with all the options this has, give or take 100, what, 150 to about $200. So that, uh, good find. Like I said, I'm probably gonna keep that one. Not that I should, but. And we have mystery box. I have no clue what's on this. Again, you know, 
tape job's not the, the best. What do we have? Ooh, I think we just have some glasses. They're not broke. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one's broken. The lid is broken. Oh, that's a shame. So they're just basically big glasses. Yeah, it's broken. It's shattered. The whole top is shattered. Let me see the other one. I'll try and get it out for you. Completely shattered there, which is too bad. This one is not broken. The lid. Let's check the rest of it. Okay. I might get lucky and get one out of two. At least if you can get one out of two, it's not too bad. Not sure what that is. All right. Okay, so it's just a bottle. There you go. You have your lid. Uh, nothing special. It's not very expensive. They do give you little chalkboard labels to put on them. So one out of two, uh, I guess it's better than zero out of two. But either way, there's not a lot of money tied up here. Uh, I could probably use that myself. For me to try and put that on and sell one bottle, it's just not justifiable. So with that, here we go, it's different. Essential oil storage. Uh, you know what? I don't think that's anything uh, spectacular to look at. We'll take a quick look just to see what it actually is. I mean, you know, really it's, a, it's probably just a plastic box or something. Okay. It's actually a wooden organizer. It's essential oil storage, really. I just thought it would be a plastic box. It is. I mean, wow. I guess you would have to have a lot of essential oils to utilize something like that. There we go. Nice, nice. Again, I don't know. I don't see it being a big seller. Put that in. I guess if you're uh, one of those people that have 50 different bottles of oil, you can benefit from it. Other than that, tough sell. I think not worth too much. Air humidifier, how I'm so humidified out. I have a half a dozen humidifiers, dehumidifiers, you name it, I have it. All different brands, whatever you can possibly name, we have her. So, you know what, take a fast look. I'm not gonna do much into this right now. Okay, it's just your basic model, nothing special. It does look, you know what, brand new. Um, so, like I said, we'll dive into that later. If it's new, it's good. I always like the new stuff. Use the, any kind of used appliances. I've said it before, it's, uh, they're tough sells. You get nickel and dimed on them, and you really, you don't get much for them. So, let's go this over here. This I was actually interested in. Robit, Robit vacuum cleaner. This is like, a, I guess, a knockoff version of a Roomba. Everybody's coming out with them because the Roombas are, I mean, uh, you know, anywhere from 400 and up. So all these other companies are making them. They do the job just as well. This looks like it has been used. Nonetheless, I'm okay with that have to look into that we got extra parts so all the spare parts are there cleaning brush charging that's what you want to make sure the charging base is there uh, because if you get it and you don't have the charging base it's absolutely it's, it's no good because it costs you just as much to have to go buy that boom boom so take a look you know it has been used you can tell there is a bit of hair in the in here uh, it doesn't look like it's been heavily used, but you know what? All we can do is plug it in and uh, see where we go. I know it's going to work. People buy these, and uh, I don't know if they're just under the wrong, you know, 
idea that they're gonna all of a sudden magically have a clean house. It doesn't work that way. They help, um, but they don't take away from not actually doing the, the cleaning yourself. So, good find though, like those two. This here, so even that robot, I did uh, look into it once before. I think I had one on a different palette, different brand. That brand there, if I'm not mistaken, retails, which model is that, the V7S Pro, it's going to be close to $300. So even used, I'll clean it up if everything works perfectly. And uh, it's $200, 175 Okay, let's see what we have in this cluster box. What do we have with this nice, beautiful packing job? Okay. Wow, we have another vacuum. It must be, uh, must be, uh, return to vacuum month. Huh. I'm trying to see. Rooney Tech. Never heard of it. It has been used, obviously. Um, again, best I can do, clean her up. I'm just seeing if this is, uh, is this battery powered or, okay. So here's the charger, it must have an internal battery. Yeah, it does, okay, so there's the port right there, that's what I'm making sure that comes. So I'll have to charge it up again. You know what, make sure it works. Again, used, they didn't even clean it. I always say to people, you know what, if you're gonna be ignorant enough to, uh, I guess, return your used products, because there's no reason these should be returned if they work. So that just means somebody scanning the system, see it all the time. You know what, at least have the decency to clean it, but you know what, I guess if you're gonna scan the system, why would you clean anything, right? So, put that down. Another vacuum. Wow. Foot, foot massager. I've already had quite a few of those, kind of basic, you can see by the picture. Uh, I'm not gonna bother opening that. Multifunction steam cleaner. Yeah, okay. This could be a winner winner chicken dinner. If it's new. Okay. I'm trying to see if it's uh, any marks on there. If is it is it new? Is it the way it's packaged? Looks pretty good. Looking at the base. Seems to be all right. Usually with the steam cleaners or anything uh, water related, you can usually tell right away. It's packaged beautiful, everything's in there. I'm gonna have to, this is brand new. I'll dig into it a bit deeper, but the way it's packaged and everything else, this is a new product, which is good. I'm not too familiar uh, on the value of these, so. Hopefully it's uh, something that we can get a few dollars for, you know. So that's always good. You like getting the new stuff. New stuff always wins. Ugh. What's this box? What do we have? Light in the box. What's light in the box? I'm not sure. It's tape pretty pretty good. It's, uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Ooh, okay. Light in the box. This is how you like to see them. Nice, nice freshly packed, I guess. That goes there. Uh, wow, that's different. I'm not gonna take this out. It is a cluster, if, I, if you were to see it. What I will do is I'll try and, it's one of those ones that you put on and they hang, the lights hang down about uh, three, four feet. I'll try and find that model and put a screenshot up for you. And you can see exactly what it looks like. So it looks pretty cool though. What do we have? Monkey, monkey, power amplifier. Professional karaoke amplifier. Home theater, we'll just take a fast look, see if it's new or if it has been returned. You know what, I have a few amplifiers right now. They seem to be a hard sell. Um, there's not a lot of demand for them. So far it's looking pretty good. 
you have all the instructions with the remote. It is packaged a-okay. So without going in too deep, uh, I will take a look at it later. You know what, at the end of the day, they're, uh, people send them back, they're not what they're looking for. They're always in generally brand new condition when you come into certain electronics like that, which is good. Like I mentioned, a little bit harder sell. What do we have? Hoo hoo. Oh hoo hoo. Oh hoo hoo hoo. What's oh hoo hoo? Storage. Storage shoebox. Okay. Wow. And I guess you gotta put it together yourself. What a pain in the nut. Yeah, you know what? It's a storage, a shoebox, but it's one of those uh, put it together IKEA kind of things. I'm not gonna bother looking at that. Not very entertaining. Uh, another mystery box that has nothing on here to let me know what it is. I'm not sure which way I should be opening this. Hope everybody's doing fine these days. Summer is right around the corner. Uh, at least for where I am, if you're living in uh, part of the states, you already have summer. Especially if you're in uh, Nevada and everything else, it's already 100 degrees, which I kind of wish it was here. That's not opening properly, and I don't want to start ripping that. Let's see how we can manifest uh, opening this, this thing. Yeah, I'm ready for summer. I'm waiting for the golf courses to open because our local government. Well, let's say the government of Ontario has decided to close the golf courses, so I'm not too uh, too impressed with that. This is becoming a real pain in the nut. Um, wow, this is nothing special, guys. All it is is one of those mats you put it down at your uh, desk for your chair. Wow, all that for that. Holy oh, smokes, man, what a waste. I do have hiding back here, just so you guys know. Marina LED T5 Interdrated Lights. I've received them before. If you've watched my videos, you know I've already had these a couple times. They're actually fantastic. Garage, basement, anything like that. They come with clips. I got a two pack there, six in a pack. It's 12. They're good to have. Here we go. This is what I'm saying about. Uh, it seems to be, you know, I got a pallet with vacuums on it for some reason or another. Uh, see here. All I can do is, uh, you know what, it's not packaged that great. The best you can hope for when it comes to vacuums and everything else is they're new. But I'm not holding my uh, breath on this at all. Especially with the other, the other two I just received. Uh, three if you want to include the robot vacuum. These, you're hoping they're new because they're worth a few bucks. And, uh, okay, so far I can't tell. Come on. I Wooly, I Wooly, not familiar with that. I've heard the brand before. Not too familiar with it though. Wow, this box is terrible. I'm looking in there. There's nothing in there. That's just cardboard from the packaging. Okay. You know what? Without uh, digging in too deep, I think I got lucky on this one. Woo wee! Thank God. I Wooly Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. That's weird. This is saying I9. What does the box say? Oh, it is an I9. I9. So there you go. I'll put a screenshot up of it, give you a better look. Uh, I will dig into this, obviously, um, a bit better, because it's packaged like a, like a piece of junk. But so far, from looking at everything, this is a new product, which is good, especially when it vacuums, make a few bucks there. Everybody likes new. I'm showing you how I get it, just like I say, this is the, this is, uh, the reality of liquidation. You know what, you get new, you get used, you get a piece of junk, you get a box with nothing in it, you get another box with somebody's old boots in it, if you watch my shows, you've seen it, you know, this is how it is, right? Hmm. 
I'm showing you what it's like. The reality of it. Love Kinky? Kinky? What's that? What is Love Kinky? Oh, it's just like uh, shelving. Looks like somebody sent it back. There's a pilot hole here. I don't know if it came like that from the factory. Not worth a hell of a lot anyhow. See, we need these big ticket items to actually make some good money and uh, I don't see them right now. So this is plastic. It's not worth five cents. Dell, keyboard, mouse. Uh, again, you know what, I'll, it's been open, I'll take a look at that, even if it's new, the most it's $15, it's not worth a hell of a lot of money, unfortunately, that's how it works, that's how we roll, this was open, came off, so I kind of left it the way it was, it is a, a lighting fixture, I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure exactly why the box is all opened up and, See what it is here. Look at the wires. So, by the looks of the wires, I wouldn't say it's been used. Um, looks all new. How does this work? Okay, that's pretty cool. You know, it has been out obviously because it's not in the plastic chrome. So there we go. That is uh, that's actually pretty cool because you can adjust it for how you want it, huh? Few few scratches on it, no big deal. Um, at the end of the day, could have been a store display. That's why you have the odd the odd scratch on it, and like you can always tell by the wires if they've been used or not, and they haven't. So they might have had it out on a display. I always like I said to you before, I do have a device. I will hook it up just to verify everything's good and uh and then we ship it out like that we'll put it together and sell the light that stuff sells pretty good can't complain about stuff like that we have another mystery box awfully light though i'm going to say it's a return because there's a there's a label on the top okay wow Funky donkey. So, this is a whole bunch of LED lights. And what do you do? Unravel it? Somebody had stuck this to some paper. And I guess when they were done, they had sent it back. Um, you know, the remotes there. Cables there. Uh, at the end of the day, no matter how you slice it and dice it, it's been used. That's there. I have no idea what's going on there. It's almost like they used it for a project. They adhered this to something, and that's why all this is on here. And I mean, it's not worth anything. Look at as soon as you unravel it, the tape comes. I mean, the paper sticks to it. It's unfortunately not worth anything it'd be something if it does work screw around with it for shits and giggles and uh whatever do whatever you want give it to my son maybe he can find some use for it again another bus there um uh, big box very light again light like that big like that we don't have a lot of faith in big lap boxes. But let's take a look. Scare oh, Wow, are you kidding me? Oh man. Again, what do we have? We got another friggin' vacuum cleaner for Christ's sakes. What the hell's going on? Alright, because that comes down. Slim upright vacuum, care brush. Uh, I guess here's your charging. That that's your charging port. Used obviously. 
You know, I just don't get it. How many people are returning vacuums and uncleaned? Hmm, well, it is what it is. Again, not worth anything. I'll clean it up and you might get $15, 20 for it. You know, if it was a brand name like Dyson or something and it still worked, you might be able to get a few, a few dollars for it, but not when you get that kind of junk. But, what do you do? What do you do? True gem, I'm almost afraid to even look at this. All right, so it's just a couple pieces of metal. Not even gonna worry about it. Not doing too good here, my friends. We have a table, TV dinner table. Not gonna bother looking at that. And I do have one bigger product here. I just have to hope it's new. It's an espresso coffee maker. There you go. It's open, so I know it's not brand new, but hopefully it might have been a store display of some sort. Paperwork. Okay, this is all the, that's still all wrapped up. That's all your thingamajiggies, whatever you, if you're an espresso maker. Somebody had put it in something here. I'm not sure if it's new or not. Okay, well, it's wrapped. It's wrapped good. Um, is this bag open or no? Okay, here it is here. So, is that, is that beans? You tell me. What do you think, guys? Okay, so there's the watermarks. Has been used. Um, you can see some of the coffee grinds. Again, I'll have to clean it, check it out. I don't know how to, not really, don't know how to work these all that well. Um, but it can't be that difficult. But again, it's not a new product. I know there is a demand uh, for these things. They do uh, get good money. I think this, this here, if it was new, uh, they're usually worth. Probably about this model here, small, $250, uh, nothing outrageous, so I'm going to have to say used $250, again it's a used appliance, I might get $100 bucks for it, you know, which is the uh, unfortunate part, that's the kind of stuff you look at and you have to try and make your money back uh, when you get these pallets, so I went from a $250 item, you base it, it's going to cost somebody $285 with tax, so I mean you would have gotten, uh, should have been an easy $175, now I mean it might be $100, there you go. That, and, guess what, guess what? Another vacuum. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know what to tell you. Let's see this. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Well, this this is brand new. Oh my God. Brand new. I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take it all out right now. But uh, yeah, this is a brand new brand new vacuum. Room tech. You know what? It's almost like that other one I just opened uh, that was used. This is brand new though. Uh, Roomy Tech. I'll have to Google that and see what uh, what these go for. And uh, you know what? I'll put a screenshot up. Let you know. So last product for this show. This is an Anti Leak Castle 240 EX. If you uh, Anti Leak, if you don't know what those are, they are coolers for your computer. If you're putting, if you're building a computer, I actually have uh, one of these already. It was I have the Castle uh, 360 EX, which is uh, three fans, where this one is uh, two fans. 
unfortunately, again, uh, I thought they would have been a little easier sell. Uh, the other one I have is brand new, open box, but brand new. And I can't get a bite on it. I've lowered the price, lowered the price. And uh, yeah, a little, little bit more difficult than I expected. Hopefully this is, uh, this is all brand new, guys. So again, you have another one. Oh, there, everything's there. It's like a little radiator. Yep. Brand new condition. Oh, beautiful. I think. I don't even know what they're supposed to look like. But it's all wrapped up nice. See, stuff like this, I can't even, it's not even like I can turn it on and tell you if it's uh if it's new or not but it looks all brand new everything's in there but you know what again i'd have to get somebody double test that and uh make sure for me that it's all good to go so there we go little shorter a few items kind of a lot of vacuum cleaners this time not sure why, it's just the luck of the draw, the, the pallet I just happened to pick out of 50 of them. So looking around, eh, you know what, it's going to be a mixed bag. Uh, if I don't know if I'm going to make money on this one, I might get my money back. But you know what, that's the liquidation business. You make some, you lose some, sometimes you're even. 